So we're caught up in drama Everybody's talking, everybody's talking We're caught up in problem Everybody's talking, everybody's talking Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris. Hope everybody's doing all right this Saturday afternoon. Got another great video for you guys. First and foremost, we're going to do a build review on the Fire TV build from the Fire TV Guru guys. These guys do an amazing job. This build's going to be perfect for all streaming devices. Doesn't have a lot of widgetry and extra fan art and things like that. So it makes it great for any device. So you guys should be able to use it perfectly. All right, and then secondly, this is the third and final installment of our contest giveaway. The rules are, one, you have to be subscribed. So if you are subscribed, number two, you have to be able to answer all three questions. I've already done two videos and have given you guys questions in those videos. All right, you're going to combine them with this third question today, and you have to watch the video all the way through because you never know where that question's going to lie. But that third question combined with the first two is going to be emailed me directly. All right. So you're going to have to email me those directly. Make sure you don't leave them in the comment because that gives everybody a chance to get the answers. And you want to limit yourself from the group. That way you guys have a better chance of winning. All right. So once again, Lilbox Q2 is up for grabs right now so if you subscribed if you've answered all three questions and you've sent me an email after this video with the third answer okay all three answers in one email then you're going to be entered into a chance of winning all right and then third and finally you have to have had a comment left for the favorite video of mine in the first video so if you've done all three of those things that that puts you in a great spot for the giveaway. You will be automatically entered into the giveaway. All right. So just keep that in mind. And this t uh, question that we're going to be uh, giving you today is going to be a little tougher. Uh, my wife put this one together. So you guys are in for a rude awakening if you think this one's going to be easy. So here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and look at this build. We're going to show you guys how to download it, install it. It's a great build. And, uh, I'm also going to walk you through the build review itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you've got all one menu, you've got live streams, you've got Kids Corner, Sports Center, Music and Streams, Miscellaneous, Her Place, Add Ons, Maintenance, System, Not Sure. You've got Movies, TV Shows, and you're back to all ones, okay? The one thing that I noticed about this um, build is all, pretty much all builds, you can click on the main menu. You're not going to have that option here. So you really only have up and down options. Okay, if you scroll up, you've got your search there for the whole build. So that's going to be on every single screen. You also have Bob, Release Hub, Project M, Picasso, and the Real Urban links there on the upper widgets. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check those out. There's Bob's. Okay, there's your menu options for Bob's. If you guys have not seen Bob's, uh, he's got, uh, it's a great add-on there. All right. You also have Release Hub. We'll go through the menu items on those. There's movies, TV shows. You've also got sports here. You've got Project M. There you go. Keep in mind the all ones are going to have your movies, TV shows, usually sports and live shows as well. All right, so it's kind of like a like it says an all in one. All right, I don't to be honest with you, I don't use any of the all ones. I mean, I really don't. I've used UK Turks quite a bit. Uh, Picasso is actually really good. We can go into that real quick and check that out. Uh, but if I usually go into like a movie or TV show, I usually pull it up via one of the movie or TV show add-ons. I mean, it's kind of nice to have it all there. There's comedy. There's your adult section. Get scared. 
for horror so we can go into that just to let you know that those are working so there's horror movies you can pull that up you got horror images and all things scary there you go guys so you got quite a bit of uh, new scary movies there obviously or horror movies so a lot of good choices there uh, but I just honestly I don't really use that I mean I use in most of my builds uh, that I um, use personally I use Elysium and usually Covenant or Exodus and that's it uh, and then Sports Devil for live TV so if you're all wanting to know what I use uh, here's the things like I said uh, Sports Devil uh, Elysium Covenant Covenant uh, and then typically Mobdro and then Terium TV. Those are those are the ones that I use most of all. I mean, a lot of these builds for me are just kind of extra eye candy, really, that I hardly use. Okay. So if you scroll down, you've got Quantum, Supremacy, Skynet, Goodfellas, UK Turk, Wolfpacks. There's your UK Turk that I was just talking to you about. And we'll go ahead and pull it up for you guys. Okay, we're going to just give it a little bit of time here to pull up. There it is. So once again, there's your live TV, sports, your movies, TV shows. This one even has radios, concerts, stand-up comedy, documentaries, cartoons, CCTV, Turkish TV, Turkish movies, fitness, food porn. You got your search and your favorites as well. UK Turks is always a very attractive all one add on. All right. Now I'm not going to wait for each of the really nice widgets to pull up there, or icons, I should say. But you also have Skynet, Goodfellas. Goodfellas is very good as well. We'll go ahead and pull it up. There's your free TV channels, news channels, sports events, movies. It's very reliable on a lot of the menu items there. And as you can see, it's got a lot of menu items. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. We got live streams. You got Hello Live TV, Project Cipher, Israel Live, IPT or IPTV links. Okay, so we're going into Project Cipher, and as you can see, you got Serial Killer Directory, Live Streams Directory, Pay Per View Directory. So if you go into Pay Per View, let's see what it pulls up. There's Boxing Eubank Jr. versus Abraham. So, you've also got a lot of this other stuff. There's your IPTV channels. You go into that. And then you have two choices. You got Server 1, Server 2. So, we'll go into Server 1. And there you go. There's all of your live TV shows that you can get into. And there's a lot of them, guys. A lot of them. All right. Now. Uh, if you guys have followed me in the past, you know I'm a big hint, a big UFC fan. All right, tonight is UFC 214. Uh, the main card starts around 10, or around 9 or 10, I think. Uh, you can usually watch that on BT Sports 2, okay? Uh, that comes out of London, and it is free pay-per-view. So, once again, keep that in mind, free pay-per-view, all right? And then you have your BT Sports 2 headquarters. But as you can see, there's a lot of other choices here as well. All right. I'm not going to go into any of those because I'm trying to save time here. But you've got a ton of options there for that. And you also have Server 2 as well. So if the one link's not working, you can go into the other two. You guys know how I feel about live TV. It's hit or miss a lot of times. All right. You also have your US TV Now Plus, your IPTV Bonanza, Renegades, News 12, and Fubar. All right, Kids Corner. We've got Bobby's Cartoons, Kids Movies, Toon Mania, Disney Junior. We'll go into one of those, just show you the links working. There you go. we got Lion Guard, Doc McStuffins, all Disney Junior characters. All right, so some good stuff there for the little ones. You also have Tykes Cartoons 8, Kitty Cartoons, Big, Key, big Kids, uh, Toons RS, and Super Cartoons. Let's go into one of those. As you can see, all of the links are working fairly well. 
Alright, cartoons and movies, we'll go into that. And let's go into cartoons. And there you go. So, you got a lot of options under your cartoons. Alright, so those are all working fairly well, guys. Alright, so next up is Sports Center. Uh, there's Final Gear, UFC Finals, All Wrestling. So, if you're a WWE fan, there you go. There's All Wrestling. Uh, you got UFC Finest. And there's your UFC Calendar. We'll go into one of those. And check it out. 214 tonight. Cormier versus Jones. That's a big one. Like I said, watch it on BT Sports 2. There's three ways that you can view it. You can view it um, through Sports Devil, through live TV. I'll show you guys here in just a second how to access that. You can also watch it through the APK file. Uh, called Mobdro, which is one of my favorites. Like I said earlier, I'll show you guys how to access that. If uh, if you don't have um, Mobdro, there's plenty of videos out there how to download the APK file on your streaming device. Okay, so definitely check that out. If you're a UFC fan, it is awesome because they show you every single fight. You can watch the undercard. You can watch the main card and the main event. So very nice. All right, so moving on down, you got Sports World, Sports Devil, Falcon Sports, DC Sports, and Revved Up. Uh, like I said, you can access the fight through Sports Devil. If you go to Live Sports, click on that. I always go down to lshunter.tv. Seems like that's the best link that works for me. Now, once again, it's hit or miss, guys. Live TV is hit or miss. Sometimes it'll work great. I've had days where I've pulled it up and watched a fight all the way through, no blemishes, no nothing. And then I've had instances where it buffers like crazy, and it drives me insane. All right, so if you just go into live here, it's going to give you all a list of all of your live TV. All right, so and it's only up to a certain time. And then it'll update uh, after 5.30. Keep in mind the undercard for the UFC fight starts around 7 o'clock. And that's generally on Fox Sports 1. All right, But you can also view it through here. It'll give you a link through here as well for the undercard fights. But as you can see, you got a lot of great options there for your other sports as well. Okay. All right. So moving on, we got music and streams. Got a lot of good choices here. You got mu music source. You got your now music UK and USA versions. <clears throat> you also have U Music, TuneIn Radio, Radio YouTube, Broadcastify, and Twitch as well. All right, miscellaneous. If you're a big fitness fan, there's a lot of fitness add-on channels there for you guys that you can actually watch fitness videos, keep in shape. I probably need to do that myself. You also have Asian and Latino versions of that as well. Her place. You got your girly new releases, Blues Clues, Ladies Lifestyles. If you go into girly's new releases, it's going to give you a list of all of the new releases under the chick flicks. There you go, right at the top. Go figure. Fate and the Furious. Or Fate of the Furious. And then you have also a lot of good movies as well here that you can view. Okay? Moving on, you got add-ons. You've got your IPTV channels, video files, music files. You also have your program files. We'll go ahead and look at that. Not a lot here, but uh, you do have the extended info mod, as you can see, which is nice. And you have Aries Wizard. So there's the direct link to Aries Wizard. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to access it uh, when we show you guys how to download I'm going to actually show you uh, the URL for the uh, the access point for the actual URL for Fire TV Guru, okay? So we'll check that out. We're not going to use US, or US, I'm looking at US TV now, right now, telling you guys that we're not going to use Aries Wizard. All right, so uh, video add-ons, we'll go ahead and check that out real quick. Now you do have a lot of video add-ons in this one, okay? So um, keep in mind, I mean, you're probably not going to use even probably 75% of these. But there is a lot of choices and a lot of good choices as well. Okay. So moving on, you got maintenance. You got uh, help video APK installer, which is nice. Advanced settings. You also have your speed tester, view errors. So if um, something goes wrong, 
uh, goes wrong in a build or something freezes up and you're just not having very good luck, I get questions all the time. Uh, you can actually get in touch with the uh, developers usually if um, if you have Facebook. A lot of times uh, they have their own groups. I know uh, Misfit Mods has their own group. Um, and a lot of these developers have their own Facebook group. And you can get in there and you can tell them what the view or the errors are. This is your um, error logs, basically. And they can, they, that's the first thing they're going to ask you, what, what's the error log showing, okay? And this is where you pull it up and, and give them exactly what it's telling you, all right? You can also force updates. So if for some reason you don't think that you're getting updates on your add-ons, you can go ahead and click on this, and it will automatically force update the add-ons. You've got your wizard there for Fire TV. Uh, there's not really not very many builds. I think there's just one or two builds. It's either a light uh, version for the Krypton or this regular version. <clears throat> and you also have the Jarvis versions as well. You have packs and fixes, and you have this is your version. All right. So we're moving on. we got system. Here's your file manager. So the, here you go into, well, let's go back. Here we go into file manager, and you would add your source your URL source, and then go up. Well, actually, you don't even need to do that. I'm sorry. You can just scroll right over to your add-on browser right there. Okay? And then there's your skin settings, system info, profiles. And this thing's lagging really bad right now. So I don't know if there's just a lot of people on there or not. Or maybe it's my internet. Or it could be the build. All right, so let's go on up maybe and then you got your not sure so I'm not sure really what not sure is here but <laughs> you got movies TV shows kid center live streams music play sports center fitness so this is kind of like an all-in-one to be honest with you okay and then you also have your two widgets here you have clear cache and then it looks like a search as well all right, movies. So once again, you've got your widgets up top. All right, so let's go back here because I accidentally hit something. Now, we always we saw that we had an extended info mod, obviously, so we know that's where it is. The other menu items were not working. So, like, if you click on the menu, uh, the main menu there, it's not gonna it's not gonna work for the other ones. But this one will work. So all you have to do is click on movie. And there you go, there's your extended info mod through the movie database. All right, so let's say we want to add Wonder Woman. All you have to do is long press the select button. And there's your extended info mod. Now you can play Wonder Woman through any of these add-ons here. You can also add it to your library there. You can use the metallics or settings. You also have movies that are similar to Wonder Woman. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of superhero type of movies, as you can see. But that's the one thing that I love about it, because if you love this movie, then chances are you're going to love one of those other ones. You've got related movie lists. You've got official videos, YouTube videos. There's your cast. So if you like these actresses or actors, you can pull them up and search whatever TV show or movie they've been in in the past. Some great stuff. You've also got crew members. That if a crew member has been listed in anything else in the extended info mod, it'll bring their information up, whatever movies they've been involved in. And there's your studios that are involved. It seems to me like nowadays there's like at least five, six, seven <laughs> studios on every single movie. It's like one studio cannot finance the whole movie now, so they have a a boatload of studios actually getting involved and then you got all the other stuff there there's even reviews there for you guys that's the first time I've actually seen that so if you want to know what other people think and then there's your keywords that it falls under so some good stuff there uh, like I said if you long press the select button you can play it from there add to library and trailer alright so let's go ahead and hit play see if it pulls up through the movie database okay so it looks like we're having an issue with metallic so you're gonna have to avoid that but once again you can add it to your library and you can play it uh, via that way 
All right. So some great stuff there, guys. You also have Elysium. So, and then Covenant I saw. Okay, so we're going to go into Populars under Elysium. And we'll just go to the first one that pulls up is Beauty and the Beast. Okay, now keep in mind Covenant, Elysium uh, are two of the main ones that you can actually go in and actually remove some of the providers to make this process of downloading a lot faster. You can also change it to autoplay. That way you guys can actually not have to even go through all this once it goes through this. But you can see these providers like Chillflix is causing a lot of issues right now. It's an offender. So you can take this out and it will speed the process up. All right, so we'll just go into something here and we'll watch it play. Okay, as you can see, guys, great quality. And it pulled up right away, just to let you know that everything's working just fine. All right, and it even takes you back to the extended info mod or movie database section there. So there's that. You also have Covenant, Specto, and One Channel. All right, so some good stuff there. You also have M4U there, Real Movies and Movie Magic add-ons as well. TV shows, much the same. Elysium, Covenant, Specto, One Channel. You can press on TV shows, and it's going to take you to the movie database. You guys know I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. So we'll go ahead and pull it up. And there's the extended info mod for that. The one thing that I love about the extended info mod is usually it has like the specials part of the season. So like this section where it's highlighted now, this would be kind of like your DVD extras or Blu-ray extras. So you got all of your seasons there. And if you have not watched this, I definitely recommend it. It is a really good series. keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. There's a lot of twists and turns that you won't expect. All right. But the specials uh, section does a lot of, um, you know, the making ofs and things like that. So it's very, very nice. All right. So we're going to go back out. And you also have Top TV, TV Shows, Red Pill, and TV Mix as well. All right. And then there's your all-in-one. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to download it. And we're going to go back out to my main menu. And I promised you, if you have Mobdro, you see I've got Terium TV and Mobdro right there. Those are my go-tos a lot of times. Uh, Terium TV is very reliable. It plays TV shows and movies as well. And then you got Mobdro. So we're going to go ahead and go into Mobdro. Okay, this is version 2.0.46. And we need to install it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh, and make sure you take caps off there. Forward slash forward slash fire TV guru dot net. So fire TV guru dot net forward slash fire. Simple as that, guys. Once you've got that typed in directly and correctly, go ahead and hit OK. It's already even got a name there for you guys, so you don't really even have to name it. And we won't name it for uh, just time purposes, so just go ahead and keep it as fire, and then go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and hit backspace twice to go back out to the main menu. We're going to go down to add-ons. Go ahead and click enter. And we're going to go up to the install box. Go ahead and click enter. Down to install from zip file. Go ahead and click enter. Then we're going to go down to what we named it, which was fire. So go ahead and click enter. Down one, go ahead and click enter. Okay, there it is, guys. It's already been added on. So once you see that icon, you can move on. Go up to install from repository. Go ahead and click enter. Then down to the Fire TV Guru repo. Go ahead and click enter. Down to program add-ons. Click enter. Down to Fire TV Wizard. Go ahead and click enter. Here you go ahead and install it. Doesn't take but a second. You can see it's been installed already. 
All right, you're going to get this pop-up coming up. Just go ahead and hit Dismiss, and then Continue. And then it's going to give you the option of Ignore or Build Menu. Go ahead and build menu for me. All right, as I said, you don't have very many choices. You got the Krypton and the Jarvis builds, but you do have a Fire TV build, regular and light. So if you feel like it might be better with the light version, uh, you can go ahead and do that. But like I said, you should be able to use the regular build version and it should work just fine for all devices. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so all you have to do is click enter and then you're going to go down to standard install. Go ahead and click enter and then hit yes install. Okay, you have three server choices. Pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go with number one. And as you can see, it starts its download. All right. So third and final question. This one's going to be a tough one. So you're going to have to think about this one. All right. So my wife just got into a new business. Uh, I do YouTube videos uh, every day. I know she gets tired of seeing me do videos every day, but she has gotten into a a new business and it involves makeup. All right. So it's a makeup business. So if you guys, <laughs> I'm going to put a disclaimer on here. If you guys are looking to buy your wife any wonderful new makeup products or anything cosmetic wise, you may want to get in touch with me. I might have your hookup. All right. But there is a online business that she has gotten into. And I'm trying to think of the best way that I can get you guys pointed in the right direction. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about this unique opportunity. Okay. So you're going to come up with the name of her business. It's a unique opportunity. So just check that out and uh, make sure you let me know what that answer is. It's a unique opportunity. All right. So once again, if you guys are interested in any makeup, she wanted me to throw that out there. You can get in touch with me and I'll get you in touch with her. Uh, but anyway, as we roll on, you're going to come up with those three uh, answers given to me in this um, email link down at the bottom of the description box. If you guys have not emailed me, I always leave an email, um, at, or I leave my email address down at the very bottom for you guys, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. And uh, if you guys have any videos or anything that you want to see, um, you know, within reason, uh, I definitely would be more than willing to do those for you guys. Um, you know, build reviews specifically. If there's a build review that you want to see, uh, let me know. You know, keep in touch with me. Keep. Uh, I've got several subscribers that uh, email me just about every day uh, about something. So I like that. I like keeping in touch with you guys, and uh, and I welcome that. Uh, just keep in mind, though, I may not be able to get back with you guys really quickly a lot of times. All right. All right. So we're done. So it just says save changes. You now need to force Clody. Go ahead and click OK. That takes you back out to your main menu. And all you have to do is click back on Cody and it's going to bring up your build for you guys. All right. So once again, let's go over the rules. This is the third and final video for the contest. All right. Yes, I will be bringing you much more videos in the future, but this is the final one on the contest giveaway. I've got some other things that I'm going to actually um, give away as well. I've got uh, quite a bit of things. So um, this is not going to be the only giveaway. Just keep that in mind. But I'm going to be excited when I find out actually who is uh, the winner of the drawing. So once again, you got to be subscribed. Make sure you, if you haven't, you got to leave that uh, comment in the first video. Not, not this one. The first video of which is your favorite video of mine all right so if you've left me an email that doesn't count you got to leave it in the comment box okay so if you've left me an email and you haven't left a comment in the first video you have to leave it in the first video okay and it has to be in the comment box 
and then you're going to email me the three answers. If those three answers are correct, you will be entered into the drawing. All right? So pretty simple. Guys, I love doing these videos for you guys. I want to be your Cody source forever. So keep that in mind. I appreciate you guys following me. Uh, I feel like I'm building up a following, and I thank you guys so much for that. The subscribers are just keep going and going and going. Uh, so, you know, hopefully here soon, maybe within the next month or two, we might be up to 20K subscribers. Guys, I'm excited about, you know, what the future holds for all of us. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. you guys have a great Saturday evening, and good luck on the contest. Thank you, guys.